Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, as most of you know, and if you don't know, actually know all you should know by now, I am a, very admittedly out loud, ROH Ring of Honor Smart Mark. This is what I am. Um, little, little tidbit of information, I am reshooting this video because I had shot it before um, Super Card of Honor where the most unexpected of world title changes happened and you have Jay Briscoe now as your Ring of Honor world champion. Um, I'm not saying like he shouldn't have the title because it's well earned. The guy's been there since day one, literally. I have, you know, ROH DVD from Era of Honor Begins and yeah, he's there wrestling Amazing Red. So, um, yeah, no, but this video is, as you can see in the title above, Ring of Honor Young Stars Rising. Interesting title, I know, but I have an explanation for it. And all of it has to do with current champions, current title holders, and that kind of thing. Um, the reason I'm reshooting this video is because before I was talking about the world tag team and the world television titles, and then... I think like the next day or that same day, the ROH world title changed hands. So, you know, all this was last week. So I I didn't post that video, so I'm posting it now. But let's talk about it. But you know what? Let's let's work our way up to world champion. Let's let's start with the newest of the belts. Let's talk about the ROH World Television Champion. Who's the current champion? Matt Tapin. Don't know much about the guy, I'll admit. I really don't. But from what I've seen so far, very impressive. And another thing is, if you're going to be a heel, you cannot have a better heel manager right now, unless you have like, like what, Paul Heyman, than Truth Martini. Truth Martini is turning into one of my just favorite all-time managers. If it's not his crazy hairstyles, I know the irony, I'm one to talk. The one time I wear my hair down during a video, I mentioned Truth Martini. Just realize that right now. <laughs> If you, I mean, and you want a guy, just a, this arrogant guys, you know, you know, follow the book of truth, and you know, he's, you know, these guys, you know, it's a prominence and everything. If you want a heel wrestler, the perfect heel manager to have them with is Truth Martini. The sad part is, well, Truth Martini, a lot of things he says he can do for your career, he kind of backs up. Roderick Strong was world champion of ROH and world television champion while Martini was his manager. Hard to argue that. So, so Matt Taven, you know, uh, I like where he's going. I was, I was definitely, definitely surprised when he beat Adam Cole because Adam Cole is one of the guys I know was just one of those, you know, was one of the fastest rising stars in RH right now. So yeah, it was real interesting to see that Taven won. You know, of course, you know you got Truth Martini in there, of course. So yeah, man, it's pretty cool. So, moving on to the World Tag Team Championships of Ring of Honor. Current champions are Red Dragon, Bobby Fish, and Kyle O'Reilly. Now, I know a little bit about Kyle O'Reilly. I don't know much of anything about Bobby Fish. Not to say that that doesn't, you know, that I have to know anything about him for him to be good, because from what I've seen, again, the guy's really good. And Red Dragon is a fantastic tag team. They are just, you know, and they're like you know, these arrogant young guys who are just, you know, and, you know, with the belts now, they're just even more arrogant, which I think is great, you know, this, this just, you know, makes it even better, and, you know, and, and I, 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 I gotta say, I'm a huge fan of, of, of their finisher, Chasing the Dragon, I mean, you know, you know, a brain buster's bad enough, but to be kicked in your head before you're getting a brain buster, yeah, you're not getting up from that, that's, it's a pretty sweet, <laughs> that's a pretty sweet tag team finisher, I'm not gonna lie, and, you know, and, you know, it just seems like, you know, these both are such, both such technical wrestlers, and it's really great. You know, I missed watching Super Card of Honor, but I'm, I'm probably going to order the DVD or probably, you know, just, you know, stream it, because I'm a ringside member. And, you know, because them versus the American Wolves, I'm sure, was a fantastic match, you know. And Kyle O'Reilly, you know, of course, you know, the whole history between him and Davey Richards, if, you know, if you're an ROH fan, you know, let me break it down for you real quick. Uh, Kyle O'Reilly was a training partner of Davey Richards, you know, and he just betrayed him. And just is like saying, you know, I can, you know, do it on my own. And so he's just been jumping fast, you know, rising in his prominence as well. And even before that, Kyle O'Reilly and Adam Cole were, you know, were future shock. 
and they were a great tag team. I thought for sure they were t future tag team champions until they started, until the dissension started, and they both broke off and went their own way, which is still great for both of them. They're still doing awesome. But let's get to the Holy Grail of Ring of Honor, the ROH World Championship, which is currently in the firm grasp, I, I, I'm, I think it's safe to say, of Jay Briscoe. Jay Briscoe's been in ROH since literally day one. He's been chasing that championship for almost as long. Not quite as long because him, you know, him and Mark were, you know, were chasing the tag team championships, of course. But he was after that world championship, too. If, you're, if you've never seen his cage match with Samoa Joe, I suggest you find one of the DVDs that that match is on and, and watch it. Because that was, that was a pretty sick match. Yeah, Joe had Joe had a lot of competition keeping that belt. That's what made it a world title. And one of his biggest competitions was, of course, Jay Briscoe. Not even gonna front about that. Jay Briscoe, phenom phenomenal over talent. And I'm not gonna lie though, I was extremely surprised to see that they put the belt on him. I was extremely surprised that Jay Briscoe won the world championship. Not because I didn't think, not because I don't think he's deserving, but because you know it's Jay Briscoe. When I have the Briscoe brothers, I thought for sure they were always gonna keep him in that tag team role. To see him break out as a world champion, you know, ROH is literally that place where anything can happen. And I'm happy for Jay. I think I think it's very well deserved. I think of all the ROH, ROH veterans who haven't had that belt yet, it's between him, you know, AJ Styles, and Christopher Daniels. I, I've always said Christopher Daniels should come back to ROH just long enough to have a world title run just so he can say he had it and be triple crown champion. I'm, this is me. I'm, I'm a Christopher Daniels mark too, so forgive me. Uh, <laughs> of course, tonight I can say the same thing about Chris Verdell's in TNA as well. Anywho, um, but back to the overall arcing point of this whole video in the first place. Ring of Honor does amazing does an amazing job of giving young talent their chance to shine. They do. They give their veterans that same chance, but they give a lot of young talent that chance to shine too. A lot because a lot of people I know have a problem with the new guys as champions. You know, a lot of smart marks like myself who will complain about things but keep watching anyway. But let's go down the line of people who've had titles of all of, of all of all the belts in Ring of Honor. Let's start again with the newest belt, the television title. First champion was of course Eddie Edwards. Eddie Edwards at the time when he first arrived to ROH was pretty much an unknown commodity to the company. I wasn't really sure who he was, but you know, like 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 everybody else I've seen, started to just love his work. And so, and the company saw it. And the company company saw his ethic, and so they put the their you know the 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 world television title around this guy's waist, trusting him to carry it, which he did phenomenally. So much so that even Christopher Daniels had to beat this guy just to get the belt. And then El Generico was champion, Jay Lethal, Rock Strong, you know, and those were like you know you know well into ROH veterans right there. And then out of nowhere after strongest champion, out of nowhere Adam Cole beats him. You know, we ever you know ever and you know Adam Cole's time was well well on its way. It just it arrived quick. You know. It was great. It's great to see that kind of stuff. And then Matt Taven. You're getting these guys the chance to shine. That's just the television title. Look at the world tag team titles. You know, at the time, you know the first champions were the prophecy, you know, with Christopher Daniels and uh, Donovan Morgan. And then AJ Styles and Amazing Rare. Of course, these are all guys who helped start our wage in the first place. But then you had, you know, like the Backseat Boys and Special K, you know, for those of you who remember Special K. Briscoe Brothers, Second City Saints, The Prophecy, the other members of The Prophecy, of course. Um, the Rottweilers, you know, BJ Whitmer, Jimmy Jacobs, uh, The Carnage Crew, you know. Just, just so many guys have held the belts. Um, even like some international names, like. Naruki Doi and Shingo, who had the belts, you know, as brief as they might have been, they still had them. You know, ROH is really an international company. And even, like, Age of the Fall, Jimmy Jacobs, of course, already a attacking specialist in Ring of Honor, but Tyler Black, who, as many of you now know, is Seth Rollins, part of the Shield. But his start? See, my, see, you, I think you're starting to see where I'm going with this, but I'm going to keep going anyway. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, you even had, you know, like when the American Wolves, you know, were, dom were like the dominant tag team. I just love the American Wolves. It's a great tag team. Love those guys. 
And of course you had, you know, the Honor Express. I know how some of you feel about that, so we'll move on. <laughs> and of course now you have Red Dragon. Okay? Tag Team Titles. Again, the Holy Grail. That's what we're talking about. The World Title. Champions. Low Key. Of course he won it. Very, he, won, he won the very first ROH Main Event, which is a triple threat match between himself, the American Dragon, Brian Danielson, as most of you may know as Daniel Bryan, and the Fallen Angel, Christopher Daniels. And if you've never seen that match, the, I'm, I'm, I'm sidetracking here, because I, I, I say I'm ROH Mark. If you've never seen the very first ROH show and seen the very first ROH Main Event, you're cheating yourself. Get online. Get somewhere. Watch a highlight video. Watch the whole match. Watch that match. It is fantastic. There is a spot in there where uh, uh, Brian Danielson had the move called the cattle mutilation. It was a bridging uh, double chicken wing choke, uh, uh, double chicken wing arm hold. And low key came out the top rope with a phoenix splash right across him when he was doing still doing the bridge. It looked so painful. It was beautiful. Okay, moving on. Um, <laughs> sorry. Next champion at Jim, uh, Xavier. You know, remember the prophecy? You know, everyone, of course, thought it should have been Christopher Daniels with the belt, naturally, but, you know, Xavier, he's always going to have that on his, you know, second ever always champion before his world title. And then, of course, not really still, you know, not as well known, but still kind of new, Samoa Joe. And he and he turned that belt into a world belt. He held it for 645 days. He was like a stone's throw away from two years before another almost not not completely again not completely known but another young star. Austin Aries beat him for it. And then of course you know CM Punk. You had James Gibson, Brian Danielson, Homicide, then Takeshi Morishima. Great name in Japan. You know he's you know and he came out of almost nowhere and won the belt. And then after and, Jared, and then Nigel McGuinness. Then of course. The godfather of, of Anarchy Championship Wrestling, Jerry Lynn. Uh, Austin Aries again, only two time ROH World Champion. Tyler Black, again, Seth Rollins, Roderick Strong. Then Eddie Edwards. That was a shock. Now, that's a young star rising that that is the epitome of the point of this video, is Eddie Edwards. Gonna get there. David Richards, Kevin Seen, of course, Jay Briscoe. Now, the point of this video, the point of it call, being called Young Stars Rising. Now the explanation's out of the way. Ring of Honor not only helps shape stars and, you know, create them and everything, it gives them the platform to show the entire world what they can do. Because Tyler Black as good as he is, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not don't, don't mistake me taking anything away from him. I don't know if he have gotten as much press and as much attention had it not been for the fact that he was ROH World Champion or even or even that he was chasing that belt so incredibly strong. He was after that belt so many times. But you had a company that believes in these young guys who are telling them who are basically telling them, you know what? We're giving you the platform. You take this belt, you run with it. Because we because we're gonna trust you with it. You know, they're, you know, they're, you know, they're like telling you know, Matt Taven, Bobby Fish, Kyle O'Reilly, listen up. It's your guys' time. You take these belts and you run with them. Because this is your platform. We're going to give you the opportunity. you got to create the demand. That's what basically what ROH is saying. It's a fantastic strategy. And if anyone has a problem with them putting the belts on, on young guys, then what are you watching wrestling for? I mean, I know we all love our, you know, old school heroes. My top favorites will always be Stone Cold, Shawn Michaels, Undertaker, Bret Hart, you know, guys like that. But you know what? As much as I love and respect them, I got, you know, hey, they they, they either have retired or, you know, just can't physically do it anymore. So they're like, you know, the young guys have it. ROH is letting the young guys have it and run with it. You can't fault a company for doing that. You can't fault a company for saying to the to the next to, to the younger generation who's trying to who's fighting for the chance to get there. Okay, you want it so bad, we're gonna give it to you. We're gonna let you have a chance. It's sink or swim time. It's time for you to put up or shut up. That's what they're telling these guys. And if these guys can run with these belts, like I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say that they're doing. And there's no problem. 
It'd be different if, you know, if just any old body, you know, like like the newest guy that they have, which I think technically Bobby Fish almost qualifies. <laughs> Another belt, but then again, he's tag team with Kyle O'Reilly. That's a great tag team. So, but even then, if the guy's got the talent and he's got the skill. Let's see what he can do. The World Television title is a great is a great avenue for that. So are the World Tag Team titles. The World Championship, of course, is another fantastic avenue because, like I said, Tyler Black. And the probably the biggest epitome of how of of them showing what a great talent someone is and let, letting him have that platform to run with it is Eddie Edwards. He was the first ever Triple Crown Champion in Ring of Honor. First ever. One of the newest guys in the company at the time. And won the triple crown, cause he just, cause like each year he had just won a different belt. Boom, boom, boom. So I think it was what, like 2009 he was world tag team champion, 2010 he was world television champion. If I'm reading that right, let me make sure. Yeah, 2010 he was world television champion. And in 2011, you know, world champion. Year after year after year, and then boom, we have ourselves the first ever triple crown champion in ROH history, because they gave him an opportunity. Now he's been all over Japan, you know, you know, eventually some big name's gonna call him. If not, he'll just go back to Japan and just make as much money. So <laughs> but this video is I guess is more for the smart marks than anything. Let ROH do what they're doing. They're not trying to compete with WWE or even TNA, they're trying to just be their company their way. And I think they're doing a great job. So, you know, we're always going to have our opinion. This, like I said, this is just mine. Just from my standpoint. You don't have to agree. If, In fact, if you agree or disagree, let me know. Tell me. I really want to know. You can leave me, leave me a comment below or a video response. But to all, but to all, my, to all my wrestling marks like myself, I say, I just, just keep giving the new guys a chance. Let's see, what, let's, see, let's see what they can do. We see what the other guys can do. Let's see what these guys can do. And to Ring of Honor, I love I, I, I still love this promotion. I love it so much. I, I that's why I still have my ticket, man. Cannot wait. And I'm still waiting. You know, June first cannot get here soon enough for me. Gonna be a great time. Everyone, thank you for your time. Appreciate you watching. Appreciate you stopping by. Thank you and God bless. Peace.